The next competency that you're writing down is going to be interest over the life of the loan. The actual problem is interest over the life of the loan. How much interest did you pay over the life of the loan? There will be some safe assumptions here. You are going to pay it according to your amortization schedule. In other words, this is not if you paid it off early or anything like that. If you made the payment as scheduled for the whole term, how much interest would you pay over the life of the loan? This is actually an important topic when we get to truth in lending because lenders have to literally tell you how much you pay for using their money. Interest over the life of the loan. Isn't it generally double whatever the loan? You'll find that it's not far from that in uh, this case. Now, here's what I want to caution you on. This question is the easiest question, it's the easiest math question on the exam to miss. It's the easiest one to miss. Because we just introduced you to that really cool interest formula, and now I'm asking you for interest over the life of the loan, and you don't need the interest formula. Isn't that weird? You don't need the interest formula in this case because you already have this. Let me show you on this one. Your loan amount was 200000 That's how much you originally borrowed, right? You're paying it back at $1,200 per month over 6% 30 years. So here's my question to you. How many times are you going to make that $1,200 payment? 360. 30 years times, uh, I'm sorry, let's see, 12 payments per year times 30 years, 30 times 12 is 360, right? Okay, so you're going to make a $1,200 payment 360 times. If you do that math, I believe it comes to 432000 Okay, that is an interesting and important number, and it probably will be one of the answers on the exam, but it's not the right one. Because that number right there includes not just the interest, it also includes what? That's the principal and interest you paid over the life of the loan, right? So to find out how much interest you paid over the life of the loan, take the total P&I and, and subtract what? Your original principal. And that's actually the rule. Whatever did not go to principal did go to interest, okay? So 432, in this case, minus your original principal of 200,000 equals 232,000 interest over the life of the loan. You borrowed 200,000. You paid more back in interest on a 6% loan than you did in principal. More in interest than you did in principal. Okay, what do you think about that? Ouch. 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 And that's why all these schemes are very important. If there's a way that you can figure out to pay it quickly. You know what's funny about it is, a lot of people say, well, come on, Chris, you're being ridiculous. Nobody ever pays their loan off over 30 years. People usually uh, refinance. If you know, the rates get a little bit better, they refinance. Let me tell you a dirty secret. Banks want you to refinance. Because then you go back to that 30 year and you start back in that uh, really, really high percentage of going to uh, interest, okay? So, I mean, it is what it is. You say, what are the options? I don't want to do this. Pay cash. <laughs> you know, pay cash, knock yourself uh, out. But as long as we're paying interest, this is kind of the way that problem uh, works, okay? How do you feel about that? Not too bad? I know, I mean, I feel bad about paying that much interest. Uh, but how about the math problem? What do you think, Lauren? <laughs> okay, I don't know the that, but how about the math problem? Because yeah. here's some good news for you. You're getting this one on the exam. It's always on the uh, exam. Cheyenne, I lost eye contact with you. You were grimacing a minute ago. Are you going to be okay on this one? Um, yeah. Okay, I'm getting ready to find out. I'm getting ready to find out. Okay, at least you can cut the uh, camera. 